hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome and thank you so much for subscribing and liking and commenting and sharing oh so nice of you <laughs> so anyways today i had a lot of fun created this look for you guys this is a mauvey smoky brown eye um i think it would be a perfect look for a date night for a girl's night out um i applied some individual lashes i created this look using a dose of colors um eyeshadow palette and this is such a beautiful palette you guys i really 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 love it um here's a close-up here are the colors super pigmented the only um thing i can say negatively about it is that it's very, it has a lot of fallouts it's very powdery but it's also very pigmented and very smooth so yeah if you guys want to see how i created this look keep on watching and again don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like um, and leave nice comments underneath and i'll see you guys on the next video but keep on watching bye so i'm gonna start by priming my face these two primers are my favorite at the moment i really love how it preps my skin I will be doing my brows first. I find that the pencil goes on a lot smoother and it looks more natural. I always clean up underneath it and because my hair is lighter than my brows, I'm applying that brow gel. I am using a thicker foundation today than I usually do, but I'm going to mix it with the MAC Next to Nothing foundation. I have some discolorations from the hormones from my pregnancy, um, so I want to make sure I cover up everything. Got a little kiss from my princess there. So anyways, I want to make sure that I blend this foundation really good. It's a beautiful foundation, but you got to make sure you blend it into the skin. Very good. And now I am going to start contouring. I am using this Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, stick foundation and mink and i really love the color because it's very natural um it has no orange in it and it blends really nicely make sure that you push all the color all the way back to your hairline and you don't have any harsh lines your hands will hurt after this tutorial because i blend a lot I am going to apply some concealer. This one is my favorite right now. It's the Spice Day Lauder. And I am going to use this Wet Pure Beauty sponge. I don't know what they call it, but um, I'll do a review on it later. But um, I'm still concealing. And I'm pushing the product in. I'm trying to make sure that it's nice and smooth, that it doesn't crease up on me. And now I want to brighten a little bit, so I'm going to use a little bit of my MAC Prep and Prime. And this time I'm going to use a fluffy sponge. And with my Charlotte Tilbury a powder, I am going to set that in. I am living for this powder. And for the rest of the face, I am going to use Lemur. It has no color, it's just a translucent powder. But it's amazing and i'm gonna set everything with this to make sure that any other product i apply goes on smoothly with my trusty anastasia beverly hills contour powder i am going to put a little bit more depth into my highlight and contouring now i'm going to start prepping the eyes and making sure i set it with a light powder and with this two colors here from my Lorac eyeshadow palette, I'm going to start creating the transitional color. When you do a smoky eye, this is probably the most important step here is picking a good transitional color. I am using this liner, which by the way, I really don't like. <laughs> it was very hard to work with. It dried on the spot. 
Um, I wish I would have used something else, but I made it work. So I'm going to take the second to last color, but first I'm going to put some translucent powder because as I mentioned, the colors are very powdery, so I don't want to get any fallouts and ruin my foundation. I'm going to start building the intensity little by little. And remember guys, blending is your best friend for any look, but in particular for a smoky eye. I am building the intensity and blending as I go. The only two shades I use from the palette are the last two. And I did not use anything else. I'm just going back and forth and blending and blending till I'm completely satisfied. I'm not worried too much about the um, edge of the color because I will be cleaning it up a little bit. Here I'm applying a little bit of a highlighter under the brow and now making sure that both eyes are as even as possible but more importantly that they are blended. And this is with a clean brush again making sure it's blended and now I'm just cleaning it up a little bit lining it with um, your plum pencil eyeliner pencil and smudging it out. I'm using the same two colors to smoke out the bottom liner. Putting a little bit of a highlighter in the inner corner and applying mascara. Taking off that powder, making sure everything's good. Now I'm going to apply this highlighter by Ofra. It's new and I like it. It's very pretty, it's a very nice color. I'm going to apply bronzer. I'm going to apply it a little higher than usual because I'm not going to be applying too much um, of blush. Just a little bit of this one. This one is my favorite right now. I am living for this one. I'm going to set this, all this powder so I have on my face. I'm going to apply a very thin line um, and this is just to help blend in the individual lashes. I'm going to line my lips while my lash glue kind of gets a little tacky. And this lipstick by Gerlactic, it's absolutely beautiful. I am loving it. It's such a complimentary color on my skin. Um, I love it. It's long lasting and very pigmented. So I started doing one eye and now I'm going to do the other one. Like I mentioned, I like to put the glue in little anything container and let it get tacky. And then I start applying and kind of figuring out what type of look I'm going for. Like I've mentioned many times, I have hooded eyes, as you guys can see. So I try, when I do individual lashes, I can play with them and put them where I need them the most. And I'm going to apply mascara so that they all blend in and highlight my inner corners. And this is the look, guys. I hope that you enjoy. I hope you learned something today. And if there's any look or any product you guys want me to review, just let me know in the comment box. And again, don't forget to subscribe and like. And thank you so much for your support. Until the next video, bye.